Hey, what's happening everybody? Welcome into another lesson. Today we are looking at some rock fills. We're going to do three fills. They're going to be the three that I just demonstrated. I'm going to break them down nice and slowly. We get straight into the first one then. First thing that you need to know how to do is a flam. Now you don't have to be an expert by flams by, by any means. You just need to understand what it is. So a flam is where we get two notes, one called a grace note, which is the quiet note, followed by a main note just afterwards. And it normally looks a little bit like this. So we get that kind of brat brat sort of sound like this. We get right handed ones and we get left handed ones. But in this lesson, we're not going to go into the intricacies of that. We're just going to say that it's two hits of the drum very close together. So they can both be the same height, like this. Once you get beyond that, you need to study this stuff a little bit more. You're going to have to learn the rights and the lefts, right? But today, it doesn't matter. Just choose whichever one's more comfortable. All right, so what we're going to do, we're going to come down the drums like this. We're going to play four hits of the drums. Right, left, right, foot. And then we're going to do that flam on the snare drum, like this. Now I like to use words, phonetics to get these. So if we think of caterpillar stop, caterpillar stop, we're going to play that twice. And then the last one, we're not going to play the bass drum this time. We're just going to come down the drums, go in here, here, then I'm going to play this twice, and then come out with the crash cymbal. So it goes caterpillar, bam, caterpillar, bam, caterpillar, crash. We're playing that in the form of something called 16th notes. And for you at the moment, you don't, again, as beginners, you don't necessarily need to understand all this. I'm going to play with a metronome where there's someone cutting one and two and. And the snare is the starting point of each of those caterpillar start, um, stops. One starts on the one, one starts on the and after two, the other one starts on four, like this. One and two and three. So we hit the and one, four and so one, one e and two and three and four. So the and one, one the and two, two and, and three and the four and one and Two and three and 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 we'll try the same thing a little bit faster, but what I'll do actually. Before I go faster, let's put a bit of time with it, a bit of a groove. One, so an eighth note groove. Two, and three, three, and four, and one, and two, and 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 three, and four, and one, and two. Three and four and one and two and three. The key to that is the timing of the did 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 that bass drum's got to be just in the right spot. As I go a little bit faster, um, speed will come with this. Just get accuracy slow, speed will come. Right, but this is eight four beats per minute. One and two and three and four and 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 one and two and three and four. And that's the first fill done. So second fill. Again, we're using flams again. Again, as I said, I don't mind if it's a right-handed flam, a left-handed flam. Uh, these guys, actually, I just call them rock flams, where people are just hitting them both at the same time. So, I don't mind if it's any of those three. What we're going to be doing this, this was going to be a 3-3-2 three, three, fill. Now, 3-3-2 three, three, is talking about if we have eight notes in the bar, eighth notes, we're going to take the first three, we're going to play something, we're going to repeat that, which takes up the next three, which is all six, and that leaves two at the end. So, three, three, two. It's going to sound like this. Now I'm going to add one more note on the end, 
so it's going to feel a bit like another three with a crash cymbal in the bass drum or the hi-hat in the bass drum and that'll be the first note of the groove we're going to go back to. So flam with two bass drums. If I do that with some time with a groove before it, you'll figure this one out quite easy, I think. And that's it. Let's do it with some time. Let's do it with some metronome. One and two and three and four. I'm gonna go quite fast on this right. Two so eighty four three beats a minute. Four and one and two and three and 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 four and one and two. Uh, this feels real. Come one in rock music. Um, you might see it used around the kit in different places. I don't have to do the flam on the snare. I could do a flam between a crash and the snare. If I want to look cool, I might switch hands. We can use the toms. A nice one, yeah? Real simple. Okay, on to the final fill then. So this one's by far the most difficult one um, because of the speed. As I mentioned, you don't worry about the speed though. Just learn it slow. Your hands will get used to playing it. Eventually you'll be able to play it fast. Now this one's um, something called 16th note triplets, right? All it means is we're gonna be playing a six followed by another six. All right, so to think of six, we just use the word hickory dickory. Hickory dickory. To get that down, play three on this tom and three on this tom. This will be with your right hand first. This will be your left hand first, but don't get too confused by that, it's just single strokes. Right, left, right, left, right, left, the whole way. We go, one, two, three, four, five, six. Hickory dickory, hickory dickory. Now some of you feel a bit stupid saying hickory dickory, right? But I promise you, using phonetics and words will, will make you learn quicker. So the first hickory dickory pound the snare, hickory dickory. And the second one is, is a bit of an awkward one because we're going to change those six notes from being two threes to be three twos. So we're going to go hickory dickory. Still six. So six on the snare, six around the drums with the first two on the snare, and I'll end with a crash cymbal like this. Now this particular one came in halfway through a bar, so instead of coming on count one of a bar, it was coming in on count three. So if I play a groove with that in, I'm gonna slow it right down now to say one beats a minute. and two and three right, and I'm going four and one and two. That's forty-seven and beats three, minute, right? And four. I'd go and one and two and three and four 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 and one and two. So and here is it six three and four and one and two and 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 three and now this particular one right it won't be long before you're playing as long as you practice it real slow a thousand times so that you can do it without thinking right when i do the speed of that i'm not thinking at the same level as someone's just learnt it right i'm i'm just here hearing the whole thing but my hands are just in autopilot, knowing when to do this around the drums. If you've got more toms, you can play it in different places. So I could go, I could randomly hit things. I could use crash cymbals. 
And so you understand those, I'll demonstrate those three different ideas now. So I do normal, around the drums, using crash cymbals. One and two and three and four and 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 and that's it so three really common feels and um, rock music there's lots and lots and lots of feels all right but if you use those as a bass that would get you through a whole gig with just those three feels right i promise you perhaps some at different tempos as i keep saying don't worry about going too slow right there's never too slow get yourself a metronome if you haven't got a metronome that's gonna be key to you getting this um if you enjoy these lessons as always they ask all i ask you to do if you can and you want more subscribe hit the bell leave me some comments if there's anything you'd like me to talk about or do join these youtube lessons um ask away hope you like it see you again soon